video was taken several years ago from a seminar that I did at a local sporting goods store. I'm standing in the back of a truck. There's a lot of traffic noise behind me. I'm highlighted by the sky. So from a technical aspect, it's not the greatest footage in the world. But there's some good information on it, and I hope you overlook the video quality and get the good stuff out of it. Heard the same bird. He felt like every morning for a week, I hadn't called to him yet. And he was telling me about a hunt that he had that day and how his hunt had got messed up. But in the course of that conversation, he said, I finally decided that this was the day to call to him. And I went in there and set up on him and started, started calling to him. And had the bird come to him and somebody else shot is what it amounts to. But my point is, is I was, I'd only been hunting two or three years at that time. And I didn't understand what he meant by it wasn't time to call to him. I'm thinking, well, that don't make sense. What he meant by what time to call to him was that they were probably had hens. They didn't have any reason to gobble. They didn't have any reason to sound dumb. Every morning this week, I've been out and I've heard a turkey gobble on the roost every morning this week that I've been out. I didn't go this morning. But I gobble four or five or six times on the roost, fly down, gobble one or two more times and shut up. What that means is, is they probably have hens. Remember I told you they're gobbled to get the hens to come to them. Okay? So, there's, several, there's, a, there's a handful of tactics that you can utilize when, this, when, when you're in that kind of situation, which is what I feel like the last week has been like. You can do what I said a minute ago. If you got one located, you can get to him. You can crawl to him. And to be honest with you, there's there's one bird that I hunted Friday and or Saturday, last Saturday and last Monday. I changed every bit. I changed my, my tactics each day. From the first day to the second, I changed my position a little bit. Uh, but the third day, I expect him to be there if I go this week. I haven't been back to him since Monday. But I expect him to be there when I go back that next week. And if he's not, I'll just adjust and go somewhere else. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crawl. That's, he's, been, he's been roosted within 100 yards of the same spot. Actually, I heard him three mornings. Because the third morning I went to that spot to hunt, he was, I, I, was, I didn't know exactly that area, but I could still hear him. He was way off in the distance. I could tell you in the same spot. If, if I go Monday and decide to go there, I'm going to crawl. I'm going to go ahead and crawl and get as close as I can to where I think he's been, where he was roosted those three days. I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to do one of a couple of things. One is, I, I might bump him. Well, he ain't dead, so I ain't done no different than what I did Monday and Saturday and Monday. You understand what I'm saying? The other thing is, I might be close enough to, I might, I might be able to get in the right position, or I might end up being in the right position. But my point here is, I'm going to try to get as close to where I think that bird is. I don't have the opportunity to go to roost it because it's 40 miles up there in the back, and I'm not, I don't have that time to spend doing that. But I'm going to, I'm going to act upon the information I've already gotten. I'm going to try to get as close as I can to him, and try to be one of those closest hens to him because he may pitch off toward me if that's the case.